Hey guys, Baxter here from B2 Tech, and today on Inkscape, I'm going to be showing you how to make a low poly image. So, um, this is on Inkscape. Usually this is done on like Adobe Illustrator and stuff like that, and I haven't really found a good, really good like video on YouTube on how to do this, so I think I'm going to show you guys this. I'll leave a link to the website where I learned this from, and I'll also leave a link to get Inkscape version 91, that's what I have. And if you want to learn how I have this dark theme, go check out, um... Logos by Nick, his channel. Nick's a, oh, jeez, Nick S. Um, he's a great guy. He's a really awesome, um, illustrator. And you, I'll leave his channel down below also. So let's get started. So the first thing you want to do, which is one of the most important, or at least most important for me, a lot of some people don't do this, is go to File, Document Properties, and then you see how Show Page Border is checked. You want to uncheck that. I just don't like having that border there, it doesn't help me. Next you're going to import your photo. I just did one with Chance the Rapper, let me minute see this one, I, di I did that one. And I'm just going to be doing a dog, because I'm going to try an animal. Now this works with anything really possible, but I like people, animals, and living things. So file, import, and I'm going to import my image, uh, I think it's in download. No, it's a picture, mine's a picture of a Yorkshire Terrier, frankly, just because I have, whoops, um, because I have one. Oh, it might be in pictures, might have been wrong, first thing. Um, that was not it, it's, there, here it is, alright, so, once you find your image, just do all the defaults. Now you can go to, um, view, z make sure your view is on custom. And your zoom should be one to one so now what you can do is you can let me show you a few hints if you click down on your scroll wheel and hold that down you can sort of pan around the page and if you hold control and scroll up and scroll down that's how you zoom in and out if you hold shift and scroll scroll up and down you move right and left so I think this is a good like place to be so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna get your ellipse tool, which for me looks like a little circle. You're gonna hold down control and shift both at the same time and make it a little ellipse off to the side. Alright, and now I'm gonna control and scroll up just so I can zoom in and so I can edit this. I'm gonna make it red and I'm going to, let me see how, let me bring this over here um, to see how big my dog is now I want it to be pretty small yeah I'm gonna make this a little smaller so control shift and make it smaller what the heck is happening let me zoom in a little bit control shift what the heck I can just do this a little bit more Oops. and I think that is good it got a little bigger more visible so I'm just gonna drag this over to now this might be a little hard with a dog because it has a lot of hair coming off but if you do this with a person it's pretty easy so now you're going to place the dot somewhere, and what you're going to do is you're going to right click it, and then you're going to copy it. Now what you're going to do is wherever your hover mouse and paste, which is control V, or if you're on a Mac, command V, wherever you hold your mouse, it's going to make a copy. I like to zoom in when I do it in these kind of places. So just do this first, do it all around, like the features, like don't do any inside, just do around the main features such as the eyes and stuff like this and remember the more dots you do the longer this is gonna take to fill in all the colors and stuff so now I'm gonna do the eyes and eventually We're gonna uh, 
I have never, I've never done this with an animal, so I'm not sure how it's gonna turn out. It's my first time. Uh, I guess I'll do his mouth. That's sort of where it is. I'll do this where it sort of leads up. Okay. And now, basically, I'm gonna go around his face. So. And, like, skip the ears. Um, we, we're gonna do the ears and stuff protruding later. And you can do his body, but for the sake of this tutorial, I'm not going to do his body. So let's just speed this up and I'll go all around his face and then tell you what to do. Alright, so I got it going around his face. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the ears and maybe put some where like the spikes sort of go out on the side. Or not the spikes, the um, hair sort of goes out around his face. So let's do that. Alright, so now that the basic outline is done, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in and basically place dots, try to make them an even distance away from each other, or else it's gonna look sort of odd. There's gonna be like one big triangle here and a bunch of little small triangles, which is what you want in the main features such as the nose, the mouth, and the eyes, and maybe the ears. But like really when it's the basic face, you really want it to look even or else it would look like there's a lot of different textures and stuff like that. So let's just place some dots, sort of scatter them around near each other. Not necessarily near each other, but like a similar distance away from each other. And just do that all around the face, all around it, everywhere basically. And we can come back and delete some points and delete some lines later. I like to go in a circular motion. So I feel like it really gets evenly distributed. Ooh, pizza. <laughs> I'll get that later. So basically just go around in a s sort of distributed evenly. So as you can see right here, it is distributed. Mm, let's get one there, maybe one here. We can do whiskers later, but it doesn't really seem like he has that many whiskers. That's more of a cat kind of thing, you know? Um, now I feel like that is pretty good. Um, so basically what you're gonna do now, <clears throat> excuse me, you're going to click, so we'll zoom out a little bit, and you're gonna click and drag just over all of the dots, and then you're gonna go to extensions, generate from path, and then Veronoi, Veronoi, I don't know how to pronounce this, diagram, not the other one, the one that says diagram. Then right here, you're gonna make sure it says Delaunay, Delaunay, triangulation, and right here, make sure it says automatic from selected objects. Now you're gonna click apply. Now it's gonna, it's gonna do its work, do its magic, and then boom, it looks pretty bad. So I'm gonna X out of this, and I'm just gonna sort of go around and select specific lines and delete them, but lines that don't make sense, because it's gonna do that if you have something protruding. It happened with me on my face, and the face also, the um, Chance the Rapper face. So go around and delete all the lines that just don't really make any sense. It shouldn't, there shouldn't be too much if you did it correctly. And if this didn't work, if this isn't correct, if this isn't what yours looks like, then you're just watch go back in my video and just oh whoops that's fine. go back in my video and just see what you think you could have done wrong make sure all the settings are set to the same and make sure you're doing all the exact same stuff that I'm doing be a little tedious having to go through and do all these lines but that is what it takes now I feel like this portion sort of doesn't really work so whoops. what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna 
or a delete. Make like a path and delete where I'm not gonna use it. I was just testing to see if this portion would work and I don't think it's going to. So I feel like that is good. That's like all we need of him. So we can delete all the rest. You can just skip ahead in this video if you don't wanna watch my deleting. Okay. And now let's scroll out and see the main thing. Scroll back and this, all this stuff is also sort of bad. So I'm gonna go through this and then I'll be back with you guys when I'm done. All right, now once that's done and I sort of gave it a tune up, hold on a minute. Lord, there's a lot of stuff I needed to, whoops, what am I doing? Um, I just clicked W as if I was playing a video game. That's hilarious. Um, so once you basically give it a tune up, then you can start actually doing the dig, you know? And you can all del you can delete stuff later once it's actually colored in and you see how it actually looks. I think that would make more sense. But you know what? Whatever. So what you want to do is you want to Okay, watch this. Um You're gonna move <gasps> Okay, there. Hold. Drag this away. Nope, not what I meant to do. Drag this away. Is that, and as you can see, all that's left behind is like all this stuff, all those dots. So scroll out and then dr click and drag over all those dots and then just click delete. And now what you can do is you can bring this back and just sort of reposition it where it was. So that's where it was. Um, let me see. Yeah. Okay. So now what you do is you scroll over, or click and drag over all of these, and you click up here, how see how it says ungroup? You click ungroup, and I do it a couple of times just to make sure everything's ungrouped. And then that basically makes it so that there are a bunch of separate individual triangles. Next, or now, is to actually color the triangles. Now this is the part that takes a really long time and I'm definitely going to zoom it up for you after I just show you a couple of examples. If I scroll in, first I click tab. Tab should select one of the triangles. Actually, you know what, just start by selecting a triangle. So select a triangle and what you do is you take this dropper tool right here, you click it, and then basically inside that triangle, you click on the color that's most abundant. So like that. Then you click tab and it'll bring you to the next triangle. Click on the most abundant color in it. Tab. And you just keep on doing that. It's a very long process, but once you get the hang of it, you sort of get like a dig, like a, a thing going, you know? This one. Make sure it's on the correct triangle that you pick the color from. Because you could pick it up from another triangle and the color would look weird. And sometimes there's small triangles that you have to zoom in for. And sometimes you accidentally click on the red lines. When that happens, what you want to do is you just want to undo, so control Z, and then just sort of do redo that triangle and click tab and that will dig. Okay, now I'm going to zoom this up for you and then show you what to do when I'm done. Okay, now here is just a reminder. I, ha I had just had this issue. I haven't had it before. Um, I, I started in the middle, but that's not what you want to do. You want to start at the top, the very uppermost part, because... It basically keeps working you down, and because I started in the middle, I, I there's not much else to go. Another thing, see how right here this isn't filled in? You might accidentally miss one, so what you're gonna have to do is take your your pointer or whatever, so excuse me, select that one, then click on um your dropper and then select it. Now 
I'm gonna click on this and then select this this one because it's the highest up one. I'm gonna go back around and come back to you. You might have to go, you might have to sort of go a couple times through um, just to, and look around just to make sure everything's selected. So I'll get back to you guys when that's done. All right, now once you have all the polygons colored, you're just gonna deselect everything and then click and drag over all the polygons. You're gonna open up your fill and stroke menu, which you can find right up here. Um, and then, oh yeah, yeah. And then, so once that's open, you click stroke paint and you make sure there's no stroke selected. So that boom, there's no stroke and you're almost done. You can delete the background photo now if you want to. I will because I frankly don't need mine. And it also helps show you that there are these white lines. They look ugly. So what you're going to do is, actually before, you're gonna just look around and make sure everything is final, you're done. Now, I think that, I don't like that. Don't like that, I don't like that. I don't like that, I don't like that. I don't like that, I don't like that. Um, I think that's pretty good. I, that's ugly. Um, and I think that's pretty good. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click and drag over the whole thing. You can group it now or you can group it later. Um, I'm gonna group it now, so... Actually, no, no, group it later. So what you're gonna do now, with everything selected, you're gonna click Control D to duplicate. As you can see, that got rid of most of the white lines. But there still are some. You're gonna click Control D again and just do this until the white lines are gone. So I think that's pretty good, so now I'm gonna click and drag over the whole thing and then I'm gonna group. And then, you're done. That's it. That is the dog, and I don't think it came out as good as um, this um, Chance, but that's because it was an animal, and so it was a lot of weird stuff. Chance was also, his face was straight on, super easy to do. The dog has a lot of different angles and stuff like that, but you know, you live and you learn. So, I think this is pretty good, and the way you export it, you go to file, and then export PNG image, and then this menu will come up. You click export as, I'm gonna export it as Hugo, cause that's my dog's name. Hugo, and then, um, Hugo low poly, low poly. And I'll save it to my documents, save, and then export it. Uh, make sure you have drawing selected, not selection. Make sure you have drawing, and then and then you can export it. So that's it for this tutorial. Thanks, guys, for watching. Subscribe to the left and watch my last video to the right. Please tell me if you like videos like this and you want me to do more Inkscape how-tos. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.